A lifestyle show from people you know with Emily Irwin. Now, Central Valley Today. Hey there and welcome to Central Valley Today. I am your host, Emily Irwin, and we're starting off the show here on location, trying not to get bucked off. We're here at the Save Mart Center for the Pendleton Whiskey Velocity Tour with the professional riders. So the world's best professional bull riders are here at the Save Mart Center today and tomorrow, and I'm with one of those riders right now. So this is Dakota Lewis, a fifth generation cowboy, a father, and a professional bull rider. I was reading uh, a little bit about your history and sort of how you got started, but you started probably before you were born. How did you get into bull riding? Uh, you know, it was something that I uh, grew up loving. My dad, he done it, and uh, I took it for a passion for it as a young Young man, I guess, coming up through the ranks, started with sheep, went into some calves, and then into the junior bulls, and uh, here we are. What age were you when you first got on a bull? Um, I believe I was uh, 13 years old when I got on a big bull. How do you prepare for something like that? So I'm a former athlete, and you know, we practice, we do drills. How do you prepare for a sport like this? Uh, you know, it's both physical and mental. I mean, it's something that you got to have in your heart and in your mind to do. And then just making the adjustments for uh, whatever you have to do to be at your best to stay in the middle of these bulls. I mean, um, I ride horses quite a bit too, okay. so it kind of goes with the balance, you know, the inquiry of how you uh, want to move when an animal moves. So Yeah, that's what I was interested in. You know, when, when we talk about golf, we go to the driving range and we, we do, we work on mechanics and we work on, you know, swing path. Are there drills that you do? Is there, Do you practice? Yeah, no, there's drills that we have we can do, stick to our basic uh -huh. fundamentals. And then there's, you know, we people get on practice bulls. Uh, there's barrels that are specifically set up for you to, you know, do certain things uh, for you to kick steep to your basics. And, uh, yeah. So practice bull, like, in the bar? No, not necessarily <laughs> in the bar. He's like, no, I'm a professional. So how long have you been professionally riding? Uh, Twelfth year on the tour here. And you're a father. You have Hayes. How old is he now? Uh, he's six. So he's six years old. What does he think about his dad being a professional bull rider? Uh, you know, he loves it. He loves getting to go to the different cities and check out the different places and watch me get to do what I love. Uh, I think I just need to start staying on more because he's been <laughs> coaching me up a little bit here as a late. How long are you on the uh, Pendleton tour? What what number stop is this? Do you think? Uh, you know, I'm He's I'm not even too count. sure. Yeah, I know every weekend for the last how many weekends now. But yeah, no, we're coming up to the finals. We got uh, I think three stops left, and so these last couple stops are pretty uh, pretty vital for us riders. And so when you're riding, what is the point system for? Because I've been I've been to PBR many times, but I still don't understand how the point system works. What do you get points for? And then what are you working towards? Okay, so you have to stay on eight seconds first and foremost. Uh, you get judged one to 50 uh -huh. and the bull one to 50. Right. So the better you stay on in the middle in control is the higher you're gonna get. And then uh, the higher the bull bucks, the faster he spins is how the bull gets scored. And the combined score being the top score of the round uh, is how we get points. Um, they have a, a placing from first to sixth or eighth in the each round or and the average. So. You, uh, you have to start out and stay on your bull first. And uh, the bull, they win. There is a winning bull, right? And so the owner of that bull takes away a purse, right? Yeah, no, the end of the year, the highest marked bull on average, they take the bull of the year award and then uh, the top bull of the finals. So they definitely have something to work forward to. It is it is such a fun sport, especially if you know, you're know you not a fifth generation cowboy, it's fun. But safety is always a concern. What's the gear, what are you holding here? What kind of gear do you wear to make sure that you're safe? Uh, so here's a vest, uh, kind of a flap jacket type form. Um, nothing uh, too aggressively thick. You wear a helmet though, right? I wear a helmet, yep. No, influenced by my son as well. <laughs> uh, here's some chaps, really no protection besides just uh, for looks, I'd say. Oh. <laughs> and then uh, your rope, you just put this around their chest, you got a handle and a tail, and you wrap it around your hand and uh, hang on. <laughs> That's it, just hang on. All right, what time are we riding? When can we see everybody? How can we come see professional bull riders? Bull riders? So, so PBR here in Fresno this weekend, it starts at eight o'clock tonight. 
7 o'clock tomorrow. I mean, you're going to see the t best of the best, 35 of the best bull riders against 35 of the best bulls. So it's going to be wild. It is a very exciting time. It's uh, sort of quintessential Clovis, and I'm, I'm a Clovis girl myself. So we'll have all the information on where you can buy tickets. We'll put it on our website as well. Dakota, good luck tonight. Thank you.